Hi, my name is uh, Chad Fennick and I'm the lead engineer for the Canadian Port of Entry on the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Currently we're working on the foundations for the structural steel canopy as well as the foundations and foundation walls for the primary inspection booths. The primary inspection booths are the main processing area for travelers entering Canada. There's going to be a total of 24 lanes um, and they're all about four meters wide. The primary inspection lanes are actually adjacent to the main building which houses the offices for WDBA, CBSA and, and CFIA as well as uh, the secondary inspection area for both passenger vehicles and commercial vehicles. And as travelers descend down from the bridge, they'll enter the inspection area, they'll get processed by CBSA, and they will gain entry into Canada. There's 12 inspection lanes dedicated to uh, passenger vehicles and 12 lanes dedicated to commercial vehicles, um, but there's also room for a future expansion of about five commercial lanes. Basically what happens is we finish off the, the concrete foundations for the booths and then the concrete foundation walls. Next comes all the underground utilities. We erect all the structural steel system for the canopy and then we, uh, we bring in the prefabricated booths and place them in. We're currently building the foundations for the, the canopy structure and we should be finished in Q4 of 2022. There's 460 metric tons of structural steel. Um, the campus will be constructed of 155,000 square meters of concrete pavement. Pill boosts, there's three different types of pill boosts. Call them high, low, and bi-level boosts. Um, and they will be constructed of, there'll be a prefabricated structure finished in aluminum cladding, which will be very similar to the adjacent main building three types of boosts, the high, low, and bi-level boosts. Um, the, the low boosts are typically for the passenger vehicles, and the high, low, or bi-level boosts are used on the commercial side. The canopy is, a, is one of the main architectural features on the Canadian POE. The main purpose of the canopy is to protect travelers and the officers from rain, snow, and sun. It's constructed of architecturally exposed structural steel, so a very high finish structural steel um, with traditional beams, and it'll be wrapped in a prefabricated metal roofing system. It's pretty exciting, actually. I'm pretty passionate about this project. It's, it's, it's not always you get to work on such a large, challenging project in your hometown, right? I've been fortunate to work on some, some really large projects all over North America but it's, uh, it's, it's always something and, you know, to come to your, back to your hometown and work on a, a project like this. And being from Windsor, I understand the significance of this project and, and, and the time frame to, to get to where we're at now, so it's, it'll be a, a great deal of satisfaction when this is all said and done.